This is Jason Eugentiller coming in again from our new clinic space here at Winslow. Uh, everything's bright, shiny, and new. We just made the uh, trip this week up into our new clinic space, and currently we have our clinic set up to be able to do our throwing analysis. So I have my camera set up on the side here. We currently have our flat mound, which we'll be throwing off of today for our uh, young thrower that we're getting ready to see. I know after our first video, we had maybe some questions come in and one of the big ones was talking about the role of pitch counts with respect to pitching and um, some resources maybe related to that. And uh, one, of the, one of the easiest resources that I turn a lot of my patients and, and athletes to is the Pitch Smart pitching guidelines that are available through uh, MLB.com. Uh, we can maybe attach a link uh, for that uh, with this video. But it'll go through, uh, based on age, what their daily max pitches they are allowed per outing, and then how many days rest there are afterwards. Now, one of the challenges I'm aware of with, especially with tournament ball and some of the select ball that's out there, it's very hard for tournaments and directors to uh, monitor or manage some of those. And so you are often coming up with inning limits per tournament. There might be a certain amount of innings that any given pitcher can pitch in a given day and then over a given tournament weekend. And so sometimes it's up to the coaches and uh, parents and athletes themselves to maybe have a little bit of better monitoring of some of the pitch counts. So that way we're staying within some of the recommendations that are out there just to try and reduce any incidents of young athletes uh, injuries and things. So um, thank you for the question. And if any more pop up, please be sure to send us a message. And uh, thank you from Children's Hospital.